Hey guys, welcome back to Care Zone. My name is Grace and it's nice to be with you once again. If this is your first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for always being there. Today, our focus is on women's health and we'll be talking about the most important vitamins that women need in order to stay healthy youthful and beautiful so sit back and let's jump right in but before we continue i'd like us to bear in mind that the best way for us to get vitamins these necessary vitamins we'll be talking about today is through a balanced diet however supplements can come to the rescue when it is challenging for us to achieve a balanced or healthy diet so let's move into these vitamins and talk about them to see their importance in the health of women we'll be starting with a group of vitamins referred to as antioxidants and they are vitamins a c and e vitamins a c and e these three vitamins are referred to as antioxidants why are they called antioxidants it is because they are able to mop up and remove free radicals that can cause oxidative stress to our body cells and tissues these free radicals are products of metabolism natural metabolism or metabolic process of the body then other external sources may be from smoking exposure to chemicals industrial wastes, pollutants, um, diets that are rich in sugar, fat, alcohol, all of these things cause the production of these free radicals. And these free radicals are linked to various illnesses or diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer particularly. They also cause brain issues like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. These are diseases that are linked to the presence of free radicals in the body. Of course, the body produces its own antioxidants in order to balance out or push out these free radicals. But if the balance, maybe because of overexposure or too much of the radicals in the body, if the body is unable to balance these, um, these radicals or to mop them up, then the excess of these radicals in the body may begin to produce inflammations and diseases like the ones I have just mentioned. So these vitamins A, C and E help the body to mop up these free radicals and they also slow the aging process and boost the immune system. So how do these vitamins work? I'll be taking them one after the other and I'll be starting with the first one which is vitamin A. Vitamin A is a product of beta carotene. So it is converted beta carotene is converted to vitamin A in the body. And its function is to improve eyesight, skin, and brain health. How can we get vitamin A? Vitamin A is contained in certain foods like carrots, spinach, tomatoes, peppers, and papaya, or papaya as you may prefer to call it. So if we take plenty of these foods, we will be getting a good amount of vitamin A from them. The second vitamin we'll be talking about is vitamin C. Vitamin C helps with wound healing, brain function, and also assists in the form formation of red blood cells. And we can get lots of vitamin C from citrus fruits, oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and other sources too, like tomatoes, peppers, pineapples, and lots more. In fact, a lot of fruits contain vitamin C. The third member of the antioxidant group is vitamin E, and it helps to slow down the aging process. It also helps in keeping the body cells healthy. Now we'll be talking about the B vitamins. In this group, we have vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12, and folic acid. And for women, the most important of these members of this group are the B6, the B12, and folic acid. So let's talk about the importance of these vitamins 
to our health. These B vitamins help to improve brain function. They also help to prevent anemia because they take part in the formation of red blood cells. And some of them prevent birth defects in pregnant women. We also have those that prevent the possible changes that may occur in the DNA, which could result in cancers. So these B vitamins help to regulate these systems, help to take part in functions or metabolic activities that ensure good health and beauty in women. In fact, this applies to everyone, like I said, but today we are focusing more on the women. So where can we get these vitamins from? We can get them from beans, eggs, avocados, milk, yogurt, liver, green vegetables, and oats. Now, the last of the vitamins we'll be talking about is vitamin D. Vitamin D behaves like a hormone, sort of. It helps to transport calcium and phosphorus to the bones where they are needed mostly. The bones need calcium a lot. And what happens is that when we are deficient in vitamin D, the body begins to harvest the calcium that's present in the bone. And this can predispose us to fractures or osteoporosis or thinning of the bones. So. Taking foods that are rich in vitamin D can help the health of the bones and as well the heart too. We can get vitamin D from fish and eggs and we can as well use supplements like in fact there's the most popular one which is cod liver oil. A lot of persons take cod liver oil and that's a source of vitamin D. Though there are other supplements that contain some amounts of vitamin D depending on what your needs are and now talking about needs it is important that we don't just jump into making use of food supplements we need to consult our healthcare providers let them even find out whether we need to use supplements or whether we are okay with just our dietary sources of these vitamins we also need to remember that overuse of food supplements can be toxic to us so we don't want to jump into high strength vitamins. Some persons might say, I want to take 1000 milligram of vitamin C every day. You know, just choosing supplements without advice from your physician. We should avoid this. So whenever you're planning your meals, tell yourself that the aim is to unlock the beauty secrets in your food. And the best way to do that is Fish out those foods that contain good amounts of the vitamins that you need. And the good thing is, women are the home planners. So this is an opportunity for us to be a little bit selfish, fish out those foods that contain the vitamins we need as women, and serve those meals regularly. If we have a good intake of these vitamins, we will be looking healthier, feeling healthier, looking more beautiful, and we can slow the aging process. And begin to feel and look younger and who doesn't want to look good who doesn't like that youthful look so get on it and begin to put them in your meals regularly till I see you in my next video continue to look good feel good and stay safe bye